It's Chris Eads, otherwise known online as Wootini, here with another weekly gay gamer video podcast. Um, this week I do want to start, I obviously have things to talk about, but first I just wanted to mention, uh, we saw Doctor Strange this weekend, and it's terrific, two thumbs up, and sideways, and upside down, and inside out. Because that movie is some psychedelic mess. Um, it's great. Uh, it's yet another terrifically satisfying, entertaining Marvel comic book movie. Um, not sure how they're able to consistently produce um, amazingly fun, entertaining comic book movies. Uh, yes, some have some flaws. But overall, you go to see a Marvel movie, it's going to be fun and entertaining. Uh, and DC just can't quite pull that off yet. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, Doctor Strange is terrific. Um, being an origin story, obviously, there's a lot of setup. Um, but I only got frustrated, I think, like, once or twice watching it, where I was like, come on, let's, let's get to it, you know? Um, but this also definitely see this one in 3D. Um, a lot of times they just convert them to 3D and they're just like, whatever, but... From the teaser trailers that I saw, uh, there were some crazy psychedelic visuals, and I'm just like, I need to see this magic in 3D. Because my husband hates 3D, as I have mentioned in previous episodes. So we always go to see movies in 2D, and then I will eventually get the Blu-ray. If I liked it, we get the Blu-ray, but I'll get the 3D Blu-ray so that I can finally see it in 3D. Uh, which is sometimes terrific, like Independence Day Resurgence great 3D. Uh, Star Trek Beyond, not so great 3D. Um, but this, I was like, we're seeing this in 3D. I will pay for the tickets, and you will sit there with sunglasses on and watch a movie, because that's what he hates. He hates, he's not into the 3D to begin with, but he really hates watching movies with sunglasses on, because it makes it darker. Um, and also, that depends on the theater that you go to, because some theaters care enough to, you know, brighten it up a little, so it's not as bad. Our neighborhood theater doesn't care as much. Um, so, but the psychedelic visuals demand to be seen in 3D. Um, there is, like, the the best set piece in the movie. Uh, it's this ridiculous chase scene that, um, if I'm, I, like, in 3D, it was just insane. But I was thinking, I'm like... It, if you watch that in 2D, could you even tell what was going on? Like, if everything was just one flat plane, you know? It would just be weird. But, um, yeah, so definitely uh, go enjoy and see that. Um, and now, with that out of the way, we can talk about the Animal Crossing update. Uh, Nintendo had a uh, Nintendo Direct to talk about the uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf update. Uh, and, of course, at the beginning of the Direct, as always, they say, when will the update be released? Oh, hey, it's already out! So, I basically, like, connected my 3DS to the Wi-Fi at work so that I could download the update so that when I played Animal Crossing on my trip home from work, um, I could check out the update. Um, and it also cracks me up because there's people complaining online where they're like, you know, I want to do this, why can't I do this yet? And I'm just like, you want all the features of the, of the update on day one? Have you ever played an Animal Crossing game before? That's not how Animal Crossing works. That's not how any of this works. So, uh, you know, I've been checking out the various features of the update. Um, the major feature, it's called, now on the title screen, it actually says Animal Crossing New Leaf, Welcome Amiibo. And so, um... They technically kind of changed the game's title. Uh, but basically, the major addition is the ability to scan in Amiibo and Amiibo cards uh, to bring those characters into the game. Uh, the thing is, is that you, I didn't get that. You don't get Wisp's lamp on the first day. It was the next day that Wisp showed up and was like, hey, here's my lamp. And once a day, you can rub Wisp's lamp, and he will 
let you scan an amiibo or amiibo card, and he will then transform into that character, uh, possessed by their spirit or whatever, I don't know. Um, and of course the first person that I had to bring into my village was Pippi. The problem is that it doesn't bring Pippi into your village where you can just enjoy interacting with her and have her wander around town and stuff. Like, she doesn't show up as like a visitor. She is just standing in your living room and basically you can ask her for a present uh, or you can ask her to move in. I asked her to come and play, but the problem was I had no open slots in my town and they were like, oh, do you want to boot somebody? And I'm like, no, 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 no. When somebody wants to leave, I might let them go, depending on who they are. Um, but I'm not just going to kick somebody out, not even for Pippi. I mean, that's just rude. I love Pippi, but that's just rude. Um, so, uh, that's a little... I wish that you could, like, just have them come and visit and then, like, run around and just be in your town. But just for, like, the day. Um, but I like the idea that I can then invite the people I want in my town. Um, like Pippi. Um, but the thing is, is I also scanned my Toon Link amiibo, uh, which did not get me Toon Link, because obviously Toon Link is a person. Uh, so, uh, instead, I got, uh, the little bird, whose name escapes me right now, and she was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, hey, come and play. Not move in, but come and play. And then what she did was she moved her RV into the campground, and uh, I was able to, you know, check that out. It was pretty cool, actually. Um, so, like, there in the RV, I could say, hey, do you want to move to town? Um, but I don't want her in town. Um, but uh, the RV thing is interesting because every day there will be a different RV parked there, like some random character, like Booker or Pave or any of the special characters. They'll just come and camp for a day. You can then scan Amiibo to get somebody else's RV to show up. Um, the thing is, is um, there are going to be special Amiibo cards that will move villagers in with their special RVs. Those aren't out until December. And I got all excited because I thought, oh, um, there are, like, 50 cards of, like, the 50, like, lost Animal Crossing characters that haven't been seen for a long, long time. And I got all excited because I thought, oh, Ace. Ace is my favorite from the original Animal Crossing game, and he has never been seen since. And I got so excited that I could, like, have Ace camp in my town, and then I could have him move in. Unfortunately, Ace is not one of those 50 characters. Rude. So... I will eventually have Pippi in my town, but I will apparently never have Ace. Um, the other cool new addition to uh, New Leaf is that there is these new town incentives where you have like tasks. Um, some are daily tasks, and some give you a few days to complete them. Like break a rock, that's a daily task, which I would do normally anyway. And then, like, catch 20 fish. That is, you know, they give you a few days for that one. Um, I wouldn't normally do that, but now I am. So, like, there's certain things where, like, I would do that anyway, but then there's certain things where I wouldn't necessarily do it because I don't do that any Like, I don't fish anymore. Unless someone asks me for a specific fish or it's, like, a fishing contest, I'm like, eh. Like, I have most of the fish. Um, so I don't really care about fishing, but to do for the town, I now will do it. So it gets you to do the stuff that you wouldn't... Either the stuff that you're doing every day or the stuff that you don't do anymore because it's, like, old hat. Um, and then what you do is when you complete them, you are rewarded with meow tickets. Um, mutual exchange of wealth. Meow. And um, those tickets then can be used to purchase items at the campground. Because um, Harvey sells two items a day. Um, I've seen stuff that looked interesting. There was one that was like a greenhouse that looked really pretty, but I was like, no, 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 no. Um, so far, the only thing that I have used my meow coupons for 
uh, was um, in the RVs, you can actually purchase any of the furniture in the RV, any of the stuff. So it like gives you this whole list. And I actually bought myself a classic Link costume from my character, so I can wear a little Link outfit, even though it's not Halloween anymore. Uh, so when I get that in the mail, I'm going to dress up. But uh, it hasn't come yet. Um, but uh, there's also one other thing about the update that's cool, is there's an in-game 3DS and an in-game Wii U. Uh, the Wii U will let you play uh, Island Escape from the Amiibo Festival game, which I played a little of, and it's actually kind of cool. Um, and then the 3DS will let you play uh, the Animal Crossing puzzle game, which I haven't played either. I haven't played that one yet. I have played the Island Escape because I played it on Amiibo Festival, but um, I haven't found the uh, Wii U or the 3DS yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to get them as a gift from one of the Amiibos that I've scanned, because Pippi, I asked her for a gift, and she gave me an alarm clock. It's not that interesting. So, uh, and I haven't seen them for sale at Harv's, and I haven't seen them for sale at Nookington's. So, um, I know people have gotten them, I'm just not sure where they've gotten them, but it's Animal Crossing. I'll get it eventually. I'm in no rush. It's fine. I play it every day anyway. So, eventually I'll get the cool new stuff. And then eventually I'll be like, eh, whatever. Um, I like only being able to scan one amiibo a day. Uh, makes me stretch it out. Because I will eventually scan all of my amiibo cards one at a time. Uh, just to say hello to everybody and get something, whatever. Just to do it. Um, oh, I almost forgot. One other new feature is they've added an amiibo camera where you can uh, scan in amiibos uh, and take pictures uh, with your villagers in the real world. Um, so naturally, I of course scanned Pippi and had my picture taken with her. Um, unfortunately, it just reminds you of just how unbelievably terrible the 3DS camera is. Um, there's even, uh, you can change the lighting, you can have like bright lighting, dark lighting, or like red and blue colored lighting. Um, so I turned it to dark lighting and it still made the picture not that great. <laughs> it's just like, well, okay. Um, so, I guess you really need, like, bright, bright lighting, but I think even if you had bright lighting on yourself, like, not just room lighting, I still think that the pictures are kind of crappy, because I remember taking pictures outdoors in the bright sunshine, and they still aren't very good. Um, but it's a fun little novelty, and it's cute, so I will be taking pictures with my Animal Crossing people here and there. Um, so, I also enjoy the fact that this update has brought people back to Animal Crossing. I never left, but it's nice to have... Suddenly, I'm playing Animal Crossing at home, and the Wi-Fi is like, Hey, these are your friends that are online, and I'm like, woohoo! Um, so it's good to see everybody back again. We'll see how long they stay. I'll be playing it until it comes out on the Switch, naturally. But, uh, uh, we'll see how long everybody else lasts. Uh, that's it for me. Um, I'm going to actually go play Animal Crossing again and see what I can do today. And um, I'll see you back here next week, and uh, I'll talk about something else. Bye!